Okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, welcome, Evelyn. Jumping in on us here. This is great. Okay. So, uh, I just came away from a very, very interesting weekend. I'm going to show, share a little bit of that with you here. Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> I've got everything hidden here. I'm sure I told it not to make any noise. Yes, it's not told to make not, no noise, but it's still doing it anyway. One of these days, I'll figure out how to do all that business. Okay, so here we are. And I was actually thinking about you this weekend with your group of folks out on the ice there. Well, yeah, you know, at 530 in the morning. But you know what? It was one of our warmest weekends out there ever. And I don't have time to show you a lot, but it actually is giving inspiration for tonight. Uh, so I'm going to share a little bit. Unfortunately, it's not super organized. So we'll just jump in here. Oh, I got the button right there. There, that helps. Okay, and it will spotlight me. So, um, spotlight for everyone. There we go. Okay, I'm going to make this window bigger so I can see what's going down. All right. So, uh, we were out on Lake Abraham, which is known for its uh, methane bubbles, I think, because it was created um, uh, by uh they had a dam and so there was a lot of vegetation that got trapped underneath the ice and then that's creating piles of methane oh we also did some ice climbing and uh i don't have many photos of me doing that and a lot of this is video i'm not going to show you a bunch of anything but the idea is that these are interesting these ice bubbles trapped in the ice and we lit them up and played with them and uh also <laughs> photograph them during the day and just so many textures and the cracks in the ice uh here we're playing with some different colored lights oh that is so cool and the fact is they're three-dimensional they go down 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 i mean these ones even to me feel like a little like jellyfish <sighs> uh, so they're, they're very cool and then you can see these how huge these cracks are we're all but the ice is so thick that we're walking out on. Um, and then we're there well before sunrise and then we get to watch the, the sunrise coming up. And uh, let's see here, jumping on a few more. Again, these, these lovely, lovely cracks. They go through the whole ice and then, um, Oh, just having the contrast of this rock sitting there with the ice and and during the and when it came to daylight the water started to look i mean the ice started to look like water uh and that was kind of intriguing too and this really big ice uh, <gasps> uh bubbles that we found will you be posting any of these i'll, I'll try to get around to it i, I hope, hope to be able to do that i'm just um, and then once in a while, you get caught up in something minuscule and tiny, like a little leaf. I love these live photos because they capture just a little bit of video. And then places where there's a break <gasps> and you get to look underneath. And oh, spot. they're so cool. So uh, hope I'm not boring anyone here. And then some nice major, you know, cracks. <gasps> uh, this is where a river was coming into the lake and created that. And then a few snowdrifts and things like oh, that as well. Um, so cool. And interestingly enough, then there were some, there's always seemed to be sheep there when, and right at, uh, at sunrise, right after sunrise. Oh, and I, I don't have any photos of me actually climbing, but I got a couple of feet off the ground, not, not very far. I was missing the one photo I'm looking for, but I don't want to make you sick by all the scrolling. So we won't, we won't spend too much more time with this. Oh, here, here they are. These are the ones when we kind of found a, an ice for a bubble forest going on. The one it was towards where the river was coming in to the lake. Just so many bubbles. Now was another. Oh, okay. Let's enable live transcription. Cool. 
All right. Uh, so my idea for this evening is to play off the idea of bubbles and transparency. Bubbles and transparency. So let, um, I, I don't know that I need to give you much more than that, but I'll just give you the idea that I might, for instance, just start with like some uh now let's let's do this better let's go into a note back to watercolor wash of soft and then play maybe with how they could be layered and somewhat translucent that there could be different colors going on with these um i'm just playing with watercolor here but just an idea okay are some of you already drawing it looks like most of you already are <laughs> you don't take it doesn't take you guys long anymore i love it i don't have to be the example i can just give you the idea and then i can just follow along myself this is pretty cool all right go for it And if any of you actually have cameras that can point at what you're doing, that's bonus. Oh, and I'll toss on some 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 royalty free music. Sorry, it tends to be the same stuff, but okay. Eventually, I'll find some more. Just don't want to be pulled off of the services because we're live right now.
Okay, we're going to finish up pretty quick here. Take a couple more minutes. Okay, as the mu soft flute music drifts away, <sighs> oh man, the transcription kills me every time, it misinterprets my stumbling, uh, my, my stumbling talk, it's pretty hilarious. All right. Irene's still going at it. I'm going to remove my spotlight here so I can see everybody. Uh, we're not at first, are we? Well, do you want to be or do you want to? You never seem to be in a rush to leave anyway, but I can make your first. It's fine. Right. What do you want, honey? How about I get Sharon to go you can first? Make me first, if you want. We'll, we'll go with Sharon because she's looking like she's ready to go. We're gonna go with with her. All right, yeah. Sharon. What? Are, yeah, I can. Yeah. Okay, got it. I got it. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to get this so it'll focus. Anyway, I don't know that doesn't seem to want to focus very well, but. Oh, it turned out to be. Good for a second there. Oh, that's really pretty. It, it turned out to be like a 
<laughs> geometric abstract, but there's lots of color in it, and it's it's actually quite uh, yeah, quite colorful, quite pretty. There, it focused. Oh, it look. almost did. Yeah, <laughs> it did, and then you moved it. There, hold it. There Don't we move. Go. Like, oh. It. oh yeah, I love the color. So I tried to get the cracks in. Uh, yeah. Actually, the cracks intrigued me more than the oh. uh, more than the bubbles, but <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah, we're playing with some, some similar color harmonies. And of course, you realize that the ones I showed you that those colors in the cracks and the bubbles were all from artificial light, colored light, but uh, and then and got to play with the warms and the cools and things. But I love I love this harmony of uh, purples and, and pinks and, and blues. It's really great. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So who else is ready to go? I guess actually we will. Oops, what did I just do? I tried to spotlight somebody and it didn't work. Oh. Let's see. Here. I'm ready. Yeah, I just was having trouble spotlighting you. How come you're not? It, turn your camera on there. It won't let me spotlight as long as your camera keeps shutting off. There we go. Let's give it a try again. There, finally worked. Okay. 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 There we go. All right, which piece do you want me to show first, Joe? Uh, uh, just show the girl first. Okay. So this is a piece that I have worked up in waiting for my turn to happen. And this <laughs> that I have drawn for today. Your bubble. Oh, this way. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. So here's the fish, a green fish. Oh, a green fish. Ah, I was wondering what the green is. And an eye, and then there are three bubbles. That the fish. Three, three bubbles. Lovely. Like the strong contrast between the light and the dark. Right now, somebody's casting a shadow on the fish, so we can't really see it. Yeah. Oh dear. There, there we go. go. Now, There's now, the fish. Now, there we go. There we go. That's right. much. Oh. Yeah. Like, like that. Cool. Yeah, strong contrast. Very lovely. Okay, cool. so I don't want to get the girl's eyes on the back side of the paper. Oh, I see. Oh, <laughs> already did. <laughs> We're so, wet. so you worked pretty fast on the girl. My goodness, that didn't take you very long at all if you only did it while you were waiting. Yep, sure. and here's one. Got another one? My hand. Oh, your hand, oh, yes. Hand. Yeah. That's lovely. <laughs> it's me down to pick up a house. Well, that's a pretty giant the hand. Guy in the moon. <laughs> yeah. the, the hand is actually a lake. Oh. Oh, neat. Pretty brilliant concept. First, I, like I was about to just make a lake winding through the forest, but then I just stopped and changed perspective. I. Mm -hmm. I just put it at the other side and I drew fingers. I drew five fingers. I drew four fingers and a thumb. And then I drew a house and, <laughs> and I drew some grass below. And then I drew a moon and I drew a sun and I drew some blue sky. I'll tell you, I'm going to totally steal this idea when I do my first children's book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you will. That's awesome. that but I'll, but I'll hide your name in the picture, too. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait to read your first children's Just put, book, Randall. Please put the initial <laughs> J-H in the picture, okay? Okay, there we go. We'll do that. <laughs> All right. Judy, have you got something to show tonight? Well, Anaya and I collaborated here. Ah, which makes it always that much more interesting. <gasps> oh, that's do? so fun. Stamping? Um, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> with cool. a, um, a, a foam brush and 
so my contribution was to mix the paint and 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 uh -huh. paint it onto the brush and then she dabbed it <laughs> yep. okay. very cool. so cute very pretty afterwards i showed her how i made some bubbles for her to wash her hands and showed her how there were lots of different colors in the bubbles yeah nice. awesome i yeah i thought about it afterwards my bubbles don't have enough good colors but i didn't want to get too crazy with my colors now i'm, now I'm going ah, i should have got more crazy with them my colors <laughs> i like yours i like they're bold absolutely cool all right, we're gonna jump over to uh, Lori. Okay, my, my mic on, I do. Okay, so I was playing with materials. Um, I had something called a watercolor ground that you can paint onto something that wouldn't normally accept watercolor. Huh. So I did that like last night so that I could, whatever theme we were coming up with, and I'm just gonna fix this here, I could, um, give it a shot anyway so I think this thing worked really well and I don't think I put enough ground on but I was trying um, to use watercolor on a on a canvas okay. oh my god that is so cool it's very put cool yeah. on, let the colors kind of seep under and collect under there and then um, paint basically just put paint like everywhere mm -hmm. and then use like a wet brush and paper towel to like pull it off and um to create the bubbles and then here and there i put a little bit of white wash just to firm mm -hmm. up an edge here and there but yeah I'm, I'm kind of happy with it there's bits that i was uh wishing that i had more brilliant color rather than sort of getting into the more gray tones but um yeah overall i really like that lovely it fun. yeah that grouping of bubbles at the bottom left is really cool i love that I um, was picking a lot of that and <laughs> around at a time. I think I might play with it a bit more, but yeah. So I was just thinking you could do the same thing with just watered down acrylics, but the advantage here is that yeah. you you can go back in at any time yes. with acrylics once they're dry, you're, they're dry, and you'd have to work in like semi-opaque layers over top. But with this, you could keep going back in. So there are some yeah. cool things about that. Okay. Yeah. It looks like yeah. planets as well. <laughs> it, well, it is. It's very spacey, it, and it's got yeah. like, and with the framing, it creates several spaces. That yeah. Are, so yeah, it reads so many different ways. It's quite lovely and pulls you in to the double framing. I like that. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. Evelyn, let's go with you. Am I muted? No, I'm not muted. Okay. Huh? Um. Okay. I'll just I'll just show it and not comment. <laughs> nice. oh, I like it. Oh, that I is like so it. fun. Yeah. I think those 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 sharp edges, they really speak yeah. to shininess, but they also speak of like other worlds. Yeah, they look like planets. And masses and water masses. Yeah. It's so I wasn't of... sure I wasn't sure how to do bubbles. So, <laughs> so each one is sort of a different try. But mm -hmm. I was thinking not so much bubbles in water, but bubbles like a child blowing bubbles. Mm -hmm. More yeah. of that gassy, you know, the rainbowy colors that happen. And because of that, there's there's a lot of reflection, there's a lot of rainbow colors. Yeah. Yeah. Of, uh, I love the soapy surface. Oh. Yeah. There's a boldness to that. And I like that a lot. Yes. Okay. Uh so I, I have a feeling that both, well, Irene's still working, but I'll go with Christina here. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I went with uh, kids blowing bubbles, um, yeah. but in the winter. So I think I might have been a little too ambitious and I'll have to work on this some more. Um, yeah. But you kind of get the idea of, of what I'm playing with. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, so the, the awesome. bubbles in the winter form uh, frost on yeah. the mm -hmm. they freeze and there's beautiful some going on there. Yeah. I like the quality of light and, and forming a three dimensional shape that, that really mm -hmm. sets off the page. I can see that it's still not you know it's not completed, but that is definitely what's starting to happen there. Yeah, it's beautiful. You Thank can you. see the flakes happening there. What were you using? Um, that, was that gouache? 
Uh, no, actually, it's a combination of um, uh, chalk markers. Oh. Chalk markers. And um, just straight up uh, pencil crayons. Nice. Yeah. I bought some black paper as well, and I started that way, but I, yeah, the paint I was using just wasn't opaque enough. I'll need to steal my kid's paint. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or get some more toys for yourself. <laughs> that's true. I mean, uh, unfortunately, that's one of the things we <laughs> we maybe have encouraged in everyone. Everyone's going, oh, I see your toys. I want the same ones or better. <laughs> yeah, that's lovely. Thank you. Oh, I'll, when I finish it, I'll post it. That would be really lovely if you do it. Okay, we're going to go to Irene. I'm, I'm not done again. I don't finish. I'll finish it sometime. I don't like, it's not bright. Like I want it to be brighter. So it's like. Oh, oh, oh wow. beautiful. Oh, that is lovely. Can you bring it a little closer to us so we can see it bigger? Just a big bit closer to the camera. Nice. Oh yeah. That's lovely. So organic, such a sense of flow and a bubbling of motion. Bubbles are circular when they're sitting or frozen, but when they're moving, they can be all sorts of different shapes, yeah. right? Blowing in the wind. That's very cool. Like that a lot. So have I gotten everybody to share? I think I have. Let's see here, I'm going down the list. Yes? Cool. Um, so I'm gonna only bri share briefly, and you may even hear it in my voice. I am. I am tuckered out from the weekend. I am uh, really low key energy. I mean, we were on that lake at like four in the morning and then ice climbing. <laughs> I didn't do much, but I did a little bit. And for me, even that has been uh, not anyway. Uh, and yeah, so I don't think my play is, is exceptional tonight. Well, it never is. <laughs> It's, it's just play. It's just play. Uh, oh, there we go. Finally found it. There we go. So, oh, so playing really with like yeah. layers that's and really well. Yeah, it's really nice. Taking again advantage of uh, digital art and how you can duplicate things and then quickly create variations in them. Uh, and lots of dimension in it. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of quick. Yeah. quick back. And then I just duplicated the bubbles and twisted them and repainted parts of them and played with them a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, I would I, I ultimately wanted it to be much more full, but uh, my energy <laughs> just went as I was going, and I went, "No, nah, that's enough bubbles. We're, we're done." <laughs> <laughs> I'm more like the Japanese when the, the cart, uh, anime them when they blow bubbles out of their nose when they fall asleep. That's that that's the kind of bubbles I'm creating right now. <laughs> uh, I don't have a whole lot more to, to share tonight. Um, just enjoyed having you all here again, and uh, going to repeat that I'm I'm still thinking of what I want to produce for people, and uh, the new idea is to create a course that's just about creativity and overcoming our own fears, our blocks, our um, our self-doubt and uh, self-criticism um, uh, and all the many ways and then creating and, and giving you a bunch of practical handles uh, of how, you know, exercises and organizational strategies and creative strategies uh, to help because I'm the guy that knows the most about having every excuse in the book to not create and every fear in the book. And I'm, I'm going through it all through many decades and still fighting my way through. And so I think that, um, that I'm coming through that with a lot of experience and, and lots to share. And I see lots of other people that have that and maybe are earlier in the journey and I could just share and I can learn from the people that I share with too. And then, and uh, I can see it as some kind of course where, well, you know what, here's the thing is everything I'm teaching now, I'm, I'm, I'm going from 
teaching what I know to teaching what I don't know and going, okay, I don't know this. So let's go in there and let's play with that and discover some new things and, and try another way and try another way and, and try and improve it. And uh, cause I think we all get into that rut of repetition, even in our own art sometimes. And so I'm trying to explore and think about new approaches and new ways and new answers and researching other people, but also I've been in the trap of just thinking I can only teach what other people have taught me. And I'm going, no, I can start to create. And this, this, this group is a wonderful example of that. At the beginning, I was doing research for every activity we did. Then I discovered, well, they're just making it up. Why can't we make it up? <laughs> the experts, right? Well, maybe we're as expert as anyone else. We've done this so often now, we're pretty expert at it. And uh, so <laughs> there you go. All right, that's my my little diatribe for the evening. Uh, I don't know that I can think a whole lot more. Uh, I'm feeling cozy by the fire. I'm kind of distant from it, but um, I'm ready to have some good good days sleep <laughs> instead of you know, also sharing a cabin with a few other guys and a little bit of snoring going on and all that. And uh, Oh, yeah. And then keeping up with energetic young people and all that business. So um, this week's going to be interesting, settling in a little more. I got teaching twice this week. Uh, for those of you that are, oh, is there anybody here from my classes? No, there isn't anybody tonight. Okay, that's cool. We're, we're good. I don't need to talk to them about the classes coming up. But uh, yeah, I'll be teaching drawing on Wednesday and the Friday. Uh, I will eventually announce for you guys that that group, that's the Improve Your Art group. Um, still not ready to accept anyone more into it. Might be a week or two, and then that'll that'll start to happen as well. And that's a group where it's every week I'm there for an hour and a half to two hours, answer questions of any sort, look at art, give critiques. It's just, it's it's whatever you want it to be. And uh, it's been really good. Some interesting discussions that have been all over the place from talking about classical approaches to art and art history to what are these materials and how do I use them best to, to everything else in between. So far, nobody's brought their art pieces in because I'm. it's mostly a class with beginners so far, but uh, hopefully that will happen too. Cool. Thank you all for a lovely evening. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Take care. Take care of yourselves. I'm going to post very soon, and you can always post in the comments or start your own your own post uh, in in the group. And be great to see what you've come up with or what you already come up with. And if you're somewhere, you continuing, Christina, you do, Irene. I know. I'd love to see it when it's totally finished. When you're happier with it, be great. So we'll see y'all later. And thank you so much. Good night, Thanks. everybody. Thanks, Randall. Good night, everyone.